David Kelly brought the world the computer mouse. He's the founder of the Silicon Valley firm IDEO, which uses human behavior to design things we use every day. Kelly's team showed 60 Minutes how in just two days they found new ways to get kids eating healthier. The big thing about design thinking is it allows people to build on the other the ideas of others. Instead of instead of just having this one thread, you think about it, I come up with an idea and then somebody from somewhere else says, oh, that makes me think we should do this. And then we could do that. And then you get to a place that you just can't get to in one mind. The key to unlocking creativity at IDEO may be their unorthodox approach to problem solving. They throw a bunch of people with different backgrounds together in a room. So you're in the business end? Yep. My background's in software engineering. Journalism. Aerospace engineer. Doctors, opera singers, and anthropologists, for example, and get them to brainstorm. You gotta have a certain culture. You gotta have collaboration. You gotta have diversity. You gotta have an anthropologist and a business person and an engineer and a computer scientist. All of you those kinds it. of. You got it. That's the hard part is the cultural thing of having a diverse group of people and having them be good at building on each other's ideas. They encourage wild ideas and visualize solutions by making actual prototypes. But the main tenet is empathy for the consumer, figuring out what humans really want by watching them. If you want to improve a piece of software, all you have to do is watch people using it and see when they grimace and then correlate that to where they are in the software and you could fix that, right? And so the thing is to really build empathy, try to understand people through observing them. In other words, their experience will communicate what you need to focus yep, on. Yeah, exactly. So if I give you a, a project to work on, an area to work on, you need to under, understand everything that surrounds that. Like you understand the people that we use it, you have to talk to experts about what's going on. Pizza! Pizza! In this case, the experts are kids. We're trying to understand what they feel and what they think. The IDEO team split up and try to learn as much as possible about what kids like and don't like. They visit kids at home and watch them at school. One team even goes shopping with kids. What do you think? Would you get it? What if you had a snack of the month club? Back at home base, the teams brainstorm or ideate, as they like to call it. Foods that look like one thing, but they taste like another. Every idea, no matter how crazy, you can stamp like Justin Bieber's face into your apple. Is jotted on a post-it note and thrown on a wall. Then comes the prototype. Yep, then comes the prototype. And how important is that? Really important. The thing that's important about prototyping is you want everybody in the world to help you. And so the way you can visualize that is to paint a picture of the future with your idea in it. So I make the experience of what it's like to have this. And I make those pedals go up and down. The kids are brought back in to test out the prototypes and give feedback. I think it's a pretty good idea that it comes to your school. And then I show it to you again, and then you say, you know, I think it yeah. should be bigger. And then I change it. So you can play with it and modify. It's almost like you're sculpturing. Right. After just two days of work, the audio team unveils five final products. A melody fork that makes music when you eat colorful food, like vegetables. We have Top Chops and Cook Nick Kitchen. A cooking skills game that allows you to earn points and graduate levels. And a bracelet that tracks movement and lets kids challenge their friends to be active. It's encouraging me to be active throughout the day. And if I go home and I'm not green, maybe mom says, you know, you need to do a little bit more activity before you watch TV. What's wow. interesting in this, we think of designers as designing cars and yep. jewelry and things like that. This team is designing solutions mm -hmm. to big social issues. And they're so enthusiastic about it, yeah. too. There's something about working in an environment where everybody's enthusiastic yeah. that I think... And they come from different places, and they collaborate at a high level. Ah, I liked it.